Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to Best Life and Beyond. This is a downtown Disney update, a merch search. Some 2022 merch has arrived. We've got some new stores in downtown Disney and it is a very rainy, blustery day here at the Disneyland Resort. People are in ponchos. The rain is soaking the esplanade. The drains are working though, at least. And if you're coming to the resort this week, be aware, uh, we're getting rain for a couple of days, three, four days or something like that. So be prepared, get your waterproof shoes, get your gear, your umbrellas, your ponchos, whatever you need to stay dry and warm here at the resort because uh, we're getting a bit of weather this week. So I'm sure some of you are wondering, where's Katie? Well, it's solo Spence today because uh, it's Christmas week and we had to divide and conquer as we say. She had a lot of Christmas uh, shopping and things to do. So I decided I'll go do the heavy lifting, go check out the merch at Downtown Disney, see what's new over here and show you guys. Uh, but she really wanted to be here. But again, it's Christmas week, so there is a lot going on. All right, let's head into World of Disney and dry off. So it's pretty crowded here at World of Disney. I, uh, I blame the rain as well as Christmas is literally around the corner. So people are doing their last minute shopping, of course. Here's a couple of new sweatshirts. Little tie-dye Tinkerbell and Oliver right there. Look at the mood on Oliver. <laughs> and then just says Disneyland on the back with the nice fade or as Katie says, ombre. $54.99 for that. That's pretty pricey, I would say. And the tie-dye Tinkerbell, I kind of like that. And then there's the back with the I'm so fly. This one's a little cheaper, it's $52.99. Wonder why this one's cheaper than the Oliver one. All right, we got a uh, Frozen 2 sweatshirt. Katie has told me that's Bruni. She's keeping me current with stuff that I don't know. It's $54.99, and then there's the back. I do like this Donald shirt. This is my happy face. This I'm aware of, because it says 2022. Here's the new ears, the new glow ears. Kind of do a little flashing deal with the uh, 2022. And guess how much they are. Guess how much the 2022 ears are? 22 bucks, right? Is that appropriate? I wonder if they plan that or if it's just by happenstance. I don't know, but there you go. And check it out, they got the glow lanyards for 2022 for New Year's where the lanyard itself glows and it has a separate switch and the disco ball Mickey ear portion also glows. I can't really test it out because uh, you have to pull the tabs. I don't want to do that, but it's kind of a good take on it. I like it. It's like the same as the ears but in a Mickey disco ball, and those are 20 bucks. Now we've seen the Aqua Turquoise one before with the uh, Mickey embroidered on the front there and the Disneyland embroidered on the sleeve. And then of course the back with the giant 2022 with Mickey leaning on it there, with the castle in the fill, and it's $59.99. Like I said, we showed this before, but it's worth showing again. And if you wanna go a little cheaper, $44.99, I'll get you this one without the hood. But look at that, you got the castle, you got Carthay, Pixar Pal around, Space Mountain. All sorts of little icons happen in there. The train, Columbia. And then this one's got some interesting sleeves. Some flared out sleeves. Got Minnie Mouse with some fireworks that are sparkly. And it's $29.99 for the Minnie Mouse flared sleeve 2022 t-shirt. And then a 2021 photo album that uh, kind of made its way <laughs> over here. This thing is, uh, it's vintage now. This is a vintage item with the Mondrian artwork on there. And then there's this t-shirt that I, this was my favorite so far. We'd already shown this, but I'm gonna show it again. Uh, 2022 with all the icons in the kind of blue tie-dye. Love this one. And it's $34.99 for this one that I like so much. Now this one's a great deal, $19.99. I believe it's a kid's version, if I'm not mistaken, uh, because this is an XL and it doesn't look like a, an adult XL. But that's a nice design. I like the true blue, Dodger blue. $19.99, that's a good deal. Okay, so they do make an adult version of this shirt because this one's $24.99. Uh, this is a triple XL, uh, but they have this size too, so you can match uh, the little one. And check out this little kid's hoodie. I love the inside of the hood. 2022, Disneyland on the sleeve, $44.99. Look, it's got Daisy on there. And then there's the back design. Very busy back design, but it's cool. Looks like the Fab Five are all hanging out there, and Chip and Dale. And perfect timing to ring in the new year for $9.99. There's the 2022 photo frame, kind of 3D photo frame there for your, your favorite photo. And it's $24.99 for that cool festive frame. Well, this zip down is cool. I like this, kind of the uh, puffy D 2022 logo right there. And it's got kind of a little fade from blue there, like it was dipped, $24.99. Now, I think this is a kid's version because the sizes look a lot smaller. And then there's the back design. 
the same one we've seen with the Icons and the Fab Five and Chippendale. And look at this stitch sweatshirt with all the different stitch icons. I think this is new. I'm not totally sure. Don't quote me on that, but it's $54.99 for that one. And I don't think I've seen this stitch pass holder. Uh, there's the pass holder right there, but it comes with the lanyard. And these stitch uh, pass lanyards are $17.99. Now this is cool. Usually these would be reserved just for the walls of World of Disney, but you can buy this Be Happy print uh, in a frame for $24.99. And it kind of reminds me of a sunrise. You can maybe put that in the kitchen or somewhere that you could be reminded that uh, we're grateful for every day. Be happy about every day. Now I think this is new and I love this. Relax and recharge. I don't know if you could do that at Disneyland. It's tough, but I could see myself doing that on the couch, that, that position Mickey's in right there. And the colors are awesome. Very different colors for uh, a Disney shirt. Now I'm not sure what these represent, but these are new. I just uh, sent this picture to Katie. I'm like, is this new? And she goes, oh yeah. It looks like a, like a spongy bow and some kind of tie-dye looking ears there. And the inside's fuzzy too. But it's kind of, uh, it reminds me of like rainbow sherbet a little bit. And it looks like this little sweatshirt uh, is made to go with it. Maybe it's a sweetheart's thing because, you know, they're doing the sweetheart's night. Could be that, I don't know. Valentine's Day, who knows? This is a cool little kid's shirt. Happy, happy, happy. Mickey looks quite happy. And then for $39.99, look what I made. So those are basically on a wire and they're little clothespins that you can uh, attach little, you know, drawings or whatever you made that you can hang off a clothespin. Whoa, check out this Olaf hat. That's wild. Super iridescent 50th Walt Disney World vibes right there. But it's Olaf. I'm so stoked. And it's $24.99 for the old uh, frozen iridescent hat. Oh look, another iridescent hat. This time it's Mickey Mouse. You're all about these. All right, this is new from Walt Disney World's 50th anniversary. This new spirit jersey. Mickey's embossed there and there's all these glittery stripes. Look at that. And, and then here's the back. Look at that. That is the iridescent, E-A-R, adescent from Walt Disney World. $119.99 for that. A little pricey for that one, but it's for the 50th. And then there's an iridescent purse as well for $39.99. A couple little long sleeves, a couple different versions of this with the castle on the side too. Sparkly tea. And I think we showed this last time, but I really liked this, uh, this long sleeve with the gold. Wow, look at this. Disney Designer Collection. Wow. These are $129.99, Pocahontas right there. And then there's the Jasmine version right there. Again, $129.99. Super detailed and pretty good size too. Kind of digging this Darth Vader long sleeve right here. I like this, the one color silk screen on the uh, tie-dye. And then the sleeve says join the dark side. That's $39.99. It's kind of really soft material too. Oh, Grogu socks. $14.99. The legend continues. Now I've seen this Grogu plush before but I've never noticed his feet. Look, <laughs> he's got, I mean, they're similar to Yoda's, but I don't know why you can see them a lot more prominent on this one. So check out this new sweater. Uh, it's really well made, heavy duty. Got the Mickey, real thick Mickey on the front there. $69.99. And then there's the mini version as well in kind of the off-white. Look at that. Also $69.99. Okay, this place is a madhouse. Oh my gosh. Packed. Like I said, it's because of the weather as well as the holiday itself. I can only imagine what the malls are like right now. Oh my gosh. Nope, don't want any part of that. We still haven't seen Encanto or Encanto, but I really want to because this character alone, I guess his name is Pico. He's so cool. All right, leaving World of Disney. Rain is still coming down. And it's getting dark, but look how good those Christmas trees look in the dark. Well, in the, the lower light of the day, I should say. Pretty amazing. Naples, uh, people are huddling under the bar to get a drink or two. These displays look so much better either at night or at dusk, like right now, because you can actually see the lights. Pretty amazing. Christmas is almost here, you guys. Can you believe it? All right, let's see what they're uh, making over here at Marceline's. Always fascinating to see. Oh, they're, they're making apples. Look at this. 
Oh yeah, and finished. There's the there's the caramel without all the uh, accoutrements yet. Um, there's the process. There we go. All right, now she's uh, she's added the polka dots, and it is now time for the red sprinkles. Oh my gosh, look at she just douses it. There it is. Amazing. Awesome. It's a production line. Full blown. All right, we've got two new additions to Downtown Disney. We welcome Pele Soccer and Love Pop. Let's take a look around and see what's inside. They've had walls up for so long. Now we finally get to see what they're selling. Oh, I love the dog right there. But I guess they're closed, so they're still setting up. But look at the, the Christmas the Christmas pooch welcoming you in. So it's a card shop and they sell very detailed pop-out type cards as well as some cardboard bouquets. Look at that. That's all snowflakes right there. That's pretty cool. And a nice Merry Christmas card right there. Look forward to seeing what else they have inside Love Pop. I'm sure any day now this will be open to the public. Make it magic. It's very cool. And honestly, at first I thought it was like pops, like, you know, like cake pops or something like that, like love pops, because I know Katie loves cake pops, so that was where my mind went. But they make cards, a uh, very intricate 3D pop-out, kind of like a pop-out book, uh, like you had as a kid, right? Pretty cool stuff. All right, let's see what Pele is all about. Signature kick. As kids, I remember trying to do that that move. You got to kind of sacrifice yourself to do the move, and we were killing ourselves trying to do the Pele kick, unsuccessfully, of course. All right. Well, that was uh, it was a little peruse of Pele. Uh, kind of what I expected. Very, uh, you know, very specific to uh, folks that are in need of soccer gear or fan gear. Really specific though, it's really cool. Like if you're into that stuff and uh, there's a certain team that you support or a uh, player, it seems like they have a lot of that stuff. So if that's what you're looking for, pay laser spot. Ooh, look at the Wonderground lights. I don't know if I've ever noticed that they were that color. Awesome. And I always tell people if you're, uh, if you have some Disney fans in your family and they have everything under the sun, this is a good place to come and get something unique at Wonderground Gallery. Uh, and you can get anything specific to whatever Disney thing that you're into. They have it pretty much. It's like you could get some, some really cool postcards or a hat or some a t-shirt or an expensive piece of art. I mean, you can go up the line. You can, uh, you can find something that's in your price point, I think, at Wonderground, but that's also very unique. All right, heading over to the far end of the district by the hotel see what's going on over there. Now it looks like in the rain that these kiosks are closed up and you can't blame them because all their product would get destroyed. So I'm assuming that's for rain because I, I normally see them open at night. So just be aware if you're coming when it's raining, especially this week, these may be closed. And then over here at Pin Traders, they've got everything wrapped up for the weather. Smart. I like how they have these rigged up with these tarps that just zip right down and hold everything in there safely. It doesn't mean they're not open though. They stay open because they have a roof that you can get in under there and, and still check out stuff. Now my man is clearly weatherproof. He's made of plastic. It's Lego Beast! Oh yeah, and little Starbucks, uh, definitely popular right now. Looks cozy. I can smell the coffee. Oh man. Oh, the tree's not lit up over here. I wonder what's going on. I wonder if it's uh, a timing thing or an electrical issue. And I'm assuming if there was any entertainment planned for this evening, it is canceled. Ah, uh, the old AMC theater. The lights look great. 
the banners look great, but sad to say that that will be a thing of the past. We pretty much think that that, as well as Earl of Sandwich Building, is gonna be bulldozed. Very sad. And yeah, sadly, our, uh, our official Downtown Disney Christmas tree is not lit up. What is going on, guys? Hidden Mickey? Now the foreground trees are lit right around Mr. Frosty there, but the main tree itself, having some, some electrical issues. Now the Star Wars VR experience photo op is still here, but the camera itself that shoots the selfies and emails them to you is not here. You'll have to do it yourself on your phone. But what's not here, and I'm assuming because it was made of seemingly cardboard, the sand crawler, the giant Star Wars sand crawler, the Jawa sand crawler is not here because I think it would just melt into the, uh, into the wetness, being that it was, I'm pretty sure it was cardboard, if I'm not mistaken. But here's something cool to get out of the rain. The Star Wars VR experience is still happening. It's still a thing. We did it, it was really fun. Made me want to buy one of those. Quest 2 Oculus setups. I think they're like 300 bucks. They're pretty immersive. I could see myself getting caught up in, in my living room for hours and hours doing that stuff. Speaking of Star Wars, who can't wait for the Book of Boba Fett, huh? I keep seeing the advertisement in the trailer and I'm like, man, I cannot wait for that to come out. Because it seems very Mandalorian-ish. Like the way they shot it and the, the look and the vibe. Oh, so good. And speaking of the Book of Boba Fett, they still have the photo op uh, soaking wet. If you want a brave <laughs> sitting in the soaking wet throne of Boba Fett, feel free. It's here for you. It's clearly weatherproof. Can't wait for that to come out. Ah, here comes the monorail. If you're wondering if it ran in the rain, it absolutely does. And it's a great option to get in the park if you're coming from Mickey and Friends. Save yourself getting wet. Jump on the monorail. Man, I'll tell you, there's something special about the weather, the dark gray skies, the wet ground, the glowing lights. It definitely feels like the holidays, that's for sure. I would take this over hot weather in December any day. Here's a little rain hack for you. Uh, Tortilla Joe's Bar, very covered by a huge palapa. It's a good spot to pull up. There's no one around usually in the rain. You can grab a drink and something to eat right there if you can handle being outside. Or obviously they'll give you tables inside if you want to come and dine, but it's always cool to just come outside, I think, and uh, enjoy yourself. I'm already all dressed warm anyways. And if you've followed this channel for any amount of time, you know that Tortilla Joe's is one of our favorite spots for food, for drinks, for everything. The atmosphere, uh, it's the, the service, everything's really great. So I'm just gonna grab a, a quick margarita. Uh, Katie's got food uh, at home that we're gonna make tonight, so I don't wanna spoil it, so I was gonna get some tacos, but I thought, you know what, just, I'll get a margarita, just for old time's sake, and uh, that'll be that. And check it out, Joe's creation right there. Hidden Mickey! And that's Tortilla Joe right there. Well, no, just kidding. One of. One of, right? Yeah, just yeah. like Santa. Multiple. Thanks, Joe. <laughs> All right, let's do the uh, best life cheers. There's no one to cheers me but you guys, so... Oh, see? Still heard the ding. Oh, that's good. Cadillac margarita. On the rocks, no salt. I sometimes do the salt, sometimes I don't, but uh, today, no salt. That is good. It's a quality, quality margarita here. What's up, Nicholas? Hey, how's it going? How's Cheers, going? buddy. How are you? How are you? Happy holidays, my friend. Happy holidays. It's very peaceful. Oh, that is so good. They have a lot of different uh, margaritas here at Tortilla Joe's. So many good ones. Uh, the standard Cadillac, but whatever flavor you're feeling, uh, they've got it. And, you know, frozen as well. I'm not doing a frozen margarita today, though. Too chilly. All right, thank you, Tortilla Joe's. Thanks to Joe, my bartender. We are wandering out of downtown Disney through the rain. It's, it's lightened up a little bit. It's not as bad. As you can see, people are not uh, using umbrellas as much. It's a very light sprinkle right now. But I still have the umbrella up for the camera. Just because this camera is not weatherproof. That's the green tree. Something that just popped into my head. Think about last year, this time. We didn't even have the parks open. 
Downtown Disney, Buena Vista Street, that was about it. Thank goodness for Downtown Disney. Thank goodness for World of Disney. Thank goodness for Buena Vista Street, because we didn't have all of this last year. So just reflecting on how grateful we are about this holiday season and what we have and not focusing on what we don't have. Because if you focus on what we don't have, it's easy to go down that rabbit hole. Let me tell you, very easy. You gotta think, what do we have? What are we grateful for going into 2022? I really do think it's gonna be a good year. Uh, there's no other way to kind of approach it. Optimistic is my game. Half full, that's my game. So I hope everybody has an amazing 2022 as we venture forward into this crazy time that we live in. And look how beautiful downtown Disney is with this rain. It's just so amazing. And it's funny because people always say, it never rains in Southern California. Well, guess what? It does. And you're looking at it. And it, it kind of transports you. It feels like you're somewhere else because generically we don't get a ton of rain. It's uh, technically a desert that we live in. We get all our water piped in. So it's, uh, it's no surprise that people always say that, you know, we never get rain and that it feels very odd when it does rain and when we get weather, but kind of have to appreciate it because most places do get rain and snow this time of year. Well, that is going to wrap it up from Downtown Disney. I hope you enjoyed that little merch search, that little Downtown Disney update itself, the rain update. Storms here. It's going to be around for a couple of days, so be prepared if you're coming to the resort. Uh, be prepared. That's all I'm going to tell you. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed to Best Life and Beyond. For Katie and myself, we'll see you next time on Best Life and Beyond. Bye-bye, everybody.